Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at how to create two zoom effects in DaVinci Resolve from scratch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. To achieve our first zoom effect, the first thing we will do is to bring adjustment clip into our timeline. And we only really need about two seconds of it. So we're going to trim it so that we only have two seconds of the adjustment clip. Now we're going to bring the adjustment clip so that the middle of it is sitting right on top of where the first video transitions to the second. So once this is done, we're going to take it right into the Fusion page. And once we're on the Fusion page, the first thing we'll do is go to Tools and under Blur, we're going to select Directional Blur and bring that node into the node tree. And we're going to change type from linear to zoom. And then as you see that when I play with the length parameter, this is what's going to give us that zoom effect. So this is like a zoomed, uh, zoomed in look. And when we bring it all the way to the left, this is like a zoomed out look. So for this example here, we're going to go with this zoomed in look. Okay, all right. So as you see that right in the middle of where the first video transitions to the second is where this effect is really going to kick in. Okay, now another thing I wanna talk about is that uh, for this particular parameter, we can actually manually change it. So now when I change it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.4, it's, it gives us a more intense, much stronger a blur, a zoomed in look. So this looks, uh, this looks much better. So we're going to go with that. I'm gonna set the keyframe here in the middle of it. And then we're going to all the way to the beginning, re reset it to the default, going to the end, do the same thing, reset it to the default. And the next thing we're going to adjust is the center parameter. And what that is essentially adjust the direction with the blur so that it's focused more on the subject. Uh, and uh, we are going to do that for the first video here. We're going to set, uh, we're going to set a keyframe and then we're going to come to the second video. Once again, set a keyframe, but we're going to bring the center of the zoom, uh, of course, towards the subject so that it, the subject is more in focus and it's it's just the overall much better effect so let's come back and uh, have a look at uh, what we have uh, so far so we do have a really good framework built and we can definitely work off this so let's come back to the fusion page and we're going to spline editor and we're going to select the length under directional blur let's highlight all three keyframes and we're going to change the interpolation and we're going to select smooth so the idea is that we're going to ease in and we're also going to ease out. Uh, but in the middle of this uh, parameter is where we want this effect to really uh, kick in and we're going to make sure that it, it's much faster, it's much more dramatic uh, towards the middle here. So that's essentially what we're doing with uh, the uh, interpolation so that towards the middle, it's going much faster. And when it's going in and going out, it's much slower. So let's come to the edit page and have a look at the finished effect. So this looks great guys. And with just a simple fusion node, we have created a zoom effect. However, there's another node we can take advantage of on the fusion page that can give us a very similar look or perhaps even a better look. So under open FX, resolve FX blur, we're going to select zoom blur and bring that node into the node tree. And we're going to play with the zoom amount parameter. And the first thing you're going to notice is that it's instantly giving us a more dramatic, much stronger zoom effect compared to the other, uh, the other node. Now, so in the middle of this clip, uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and set a keyframe. This is a good amount for me, uh, in my opinion. And we're going to come to the beginning of this video clip, once again, set a keyframe. But instead of uh, restore, uh, resetting it to the default, we're going to make sure that we bring it all the way down to zero because at default, we still get a bit of that zoom, that blur. So we're going to uh, go to the end, do the same thing, make sure that it sits on zero instead of the default. Now, the other parameter we can play with uh, is centered exclusion. This will exclude the center of the zoom from getting any of that zoom effect. So this is a really cool uh, parameter. I think that we can definitely play with to give us the look that we're looking for. So this is a good amount, uh, in my opinion, and I'm going to just let it sit there. And now what we're going to do is to bring it so that it sits uh, on the subject. So keyframe it, uh, the position uh, parameter. And then we're going to come to the previous clip, uh, the end of the previous clip, make sure we do the same thing so that it sits on the subject. Okay, so once that is done, the next thing we're going to do is go to Spline Editor, 
Do very similar thing like we did earlier. Make sure that we select all three keyframes and we're going to change the interpolation so that the idea here is that we want to ease in and we want to ease out. And in the middle of this curve is where we want this effect to really kick in. So we want the speed to be much faster in the middle of this curve and it's going to give us that more dramatic look uh, overall. So once that is done, let's um, exit the spline editor. Let's come back to the edit page and have a look at the finish effect. So guys, this really looks really good. I think that with just a few, again, with a simple fusion node, we have now created a really good zoom effect. Now, the other thing I want to talk about quickly here is that if we come back to this, uh, this particular node and we adjust the zoom setting, bring it all the way to the other side of this, uh, of the, the setting. Now you're going to see that it's going to give us once again, a smooth zoom effect, but of course now it's going to take on a, it's going to go in a different direction. So this just really comes down to your preference and what you're looking for. Now to create our second zoom effect, what we're going to do is to take one second of the second video and then bring it on top of the first one, bridge the gap. And then we're going to, for the first video, take two seconds of it so that overall with both the video, uh, the first video and the second combined into a fusion clip, we have two seconds in total. Now take, let's take this fusion clip to the fusion page. And once we're on the fusion page, the first thing we're going to do is to bring transform nodes uh, to both a media in and a media, a media in one and a media in two, so that both videos have transform nodes. And for the first one, uh, for transform one, we're going to adjust the uh, set the keyframe, adjust the size setting so that it's uh, we, so that it's much smaller um, towards the end of it. And then in the beginning, we're going to bring it to the default. So this is going to give us that zoom out look. Now, one thing you will notice that we have the alpha channel exposed. So to do this, to help us uh, alleviate this situation, we can go to the edge parameter. Uh, I prefer setting, uh, sorry, I prefer mirror here, but you can play with this and to see which one works better for you. Now for the second video clip, we're going to transform to, once again, set the keyframe for the size parameter. But we're going to bring all the way up uh, for this one and then to end the end there we're going to keyframe it so that it comes all the way down so once again it's a zoomed out effect for the second video now once all that is done we are going to the uh, settings uh, page for uh, transform one and then select motion blur and crank up the settings and we're going to do the same uh, for transform two go to the settings page and then click motion blur once again crank up the settings Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then we're going to spline editor uh, to just finish off, select transform one. Under size uh, here, what we want to do is to change the interpolation once again. And did you guys see that when we change the interpolation towards the end of this first clip, the zoom effect, the, the motion blur is also really going to be much stronger. So very much like the, what we did with transform one for transform two, we're going to do the opposite so that it's much stronger, much faster in the beginning, but towards the end, it's much slower. And once again, the motion blur, also you will see that it's more apparent when we do this. Okay, so let's come back to the edit page, have a look at the finished effect here. So guys, overall, this one hits once again, a very smooth zoom effect, but compared to the other node, it definitely has more movement for sure. And lastly, I just want to mention that we can continue to refine our transition by bringing more nodes into the node system. So we're going to open FX and under Resolve FX Blur, we're going to select Zoom Blur again, bringing that into the node tree. So the idea here is that I want to add more blur uh, towards the middle of this transition. So I'm going to crank up the zoom amount here. That looks good enough for me. And then we're going to keyframe accordingly, um, just to make sure that for this one, if you guys remember, uh, we need to make sure that at the beginning and the end, it's sitting on zero instead of uh, the default setting, which will still give us a bit of that, um, the, the blur. And at this point, once you're done, you can continue to work with, uh, work on other parameters such as the center is exclusion and also the spline editor to change the interpolation. But the idea here, guys, is that I just want to illustrate that you could continue to work on this look, give it more dimension, uh, add more drama, by adding more nodes into the system. So let's go ahead and have a look at the finished effect. That looks really good. I think that looks way much better. And the, the, the blur really gives it that intensity, gives it that drama. Okay guys, I hope this helps and I will see you next time.